and me to this temple. And also, we would like uh, to have your presence here while we are, inshallah, introducing this brother to our community. And he, uh, inshallah, introduced to Islam. Uh, this brother, Chris. But we will do it one more time. Declaring Shahada, the first pillar of Islam, is to say, Ashhadu, repeat after me. Ashhadu. Ashhadu. And La. And La. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illa. Illa. Allah. Allah. Wa ashhadu. Ashhadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Rasulullah. Rasulullah. Which means, I bear witness that there is no God worth of worship but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. You understand this, brother? Yes, sir. Takbir. Allah. Takbir. Allah. Takbir. Allah. So, brother, now you are officially and publicly, and all those brothers, inshallah, will be a witness for you in the day of judgment that brother Chris has chosen Islam willingly by his own choice, and he become a Muslim. He wanted to be a servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and all human beings are equal. Then you, inshallah, you will practice the salah, the prayers, the five daily prayers. You will practice the fasting of the month of Ramadan. You will practice being the charity for the Burdu. And whenever you are able to go and visit Kaaba, as we were talking about, inshallah, you will do that. So, inshallah, now, congratulations, and I will, I will give you a hug, inshallah. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, assalamu alaikum, watching the Dean Show. And we have Chris here who has just taken the declaration of faith, the Shahada, declaring that there is no one worthy of worship except the creator of the heavens and the earth. In Arabic we say Allah, and Muhammad is the slave, servant, and messenger of God the Almighty, just like Moses was a messenger, just like Noah was a messenger, just like Abraham was a messenger, just like Jesus. Peace be upon them all, we're messengers. Muhammad is the last and final messenger to mankind and he has just made his declaration of faith and he is being welcomed by hundreds here into Islam which means submission and surrender to the one true God he's getting to meet getting embraced by his family of brothers here it's a great day alhamdulillah we welcome you, brother, to Islam. And may Allah bless you, may God Almighty guide you in everything you do, and may you continue on your new journey as a Muslim, one who is constantly God conscious, who's being and fulfilling his duties to God, to the people, who's living a life of submission to his Creator, living in peace with God, with himself, with the community and God willing now all your previous sins are forgiven you have a fresh start and that's your key to paradise as you can see, Brother Chris is being embraced by the white, the black, the brown, the yellow, all coming together to worship the one true God, the creator of the heavens and the earth. We're one brotherhood, standing shoulder to shoulder, worshiping one God. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, assalamu alaikum, peace be unto you. Welcome to the Dean Show. You just got to see an incredible moment. Brother Chris, you have just taken the declaration of faith. How do you feel? I feel very good. It's very overwhelmed. You're a Muslim now? Yes. You nervous? Uh, y yes, I'm nervous. Excited? Yes. You should be because you have just, you've done the most wonderful thing that a human being can do. You've chosen out of your own free will to take this free choice that you have, either to surrender to the dollar, to the woman, to society, to materialism, to something created. You've chosen out of your own free choice to surrender to the one who has created you, God Almighty. 
That's a wonderful thing. That's the declaration that you guys got to see. How's that feel, huh? That's a good feeling. All your sins now are forgiven. Everything now, if you owe somebody some money, you got to pay that debt. But everything is like you, fr you start fresh. Yeah, that's good. So now, he's a Muslim. You're a Muslim, mm -hmm. okay? You are one who submits, who's chosen freely to submit, to surrender, not to anyone created, okay? Not to a man, not to a monkey, not to a stone, but to the creator of all, mm -hmm. the creator of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. the creator of Moses, of Abraham, Muhammad, mm -hmm. The creator of the sun, the moon, all right? Mm -hmm. You know the sun is a Muslim? Did you know that? I found that out today. A sun, the sun is a Muslim. How is it? Because the sun is submitting to, 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 to Allah, Allah, to God. The trees are Muslim. The moon is a Muslim. Everything that is submitting to God is a Muslim. And now you've made that choice to be a Muslim, one who surrenders and submits because somebody... You know, who might not be a Muslim, maybe he's investigating or he has some misconceptions. Like, oh man, you've decided to be a terrorist. Yeah. This is one of the biggest misconceptions. Right. It's Muslims fight against terrorism. You cannot be a Muslim terrorist. These are two oxymorons. Right. So, how was it meeting all your new brothers in yeah. Islam? That, that, that was amazing. Uh, it's weird because, you know, you never know if you're going to be accepted because to me, and to probably most people like me, white Americans, for the most part, you think I'm different, um, they're different, and so you really don't understand their culture, so you don't know, are they going to accept me as one of them? Um, it's a big problem we have today in society, and when all those people came up to me and started hugging me and were saying everything to me, it, it, it's amazing, because those, those problems we make as humans, but if you really look, they're really not there, you know. The people that make us think that we're different, it's like we're programmed. At least in America, at least that's how I feel. It's like you grow up in the media is telling you certain things, the government's telling you certain things, so you feel that you're not like one of these people. Uh, they're different, and they're not going to accept you. But it, it's, it's, uh, it's an illusion. It's, it's not true. It's a big illusion. Yeah, and that's, the, that's what's amazing to me. That's really blew my mind. Blew my mind. That was the overwhelming part, but it was a really good feeling. All these people coming together, white, brown, yellow, from all over uh, the world, they come in to, to, to embrace you because now it's, you're part of a brotherhood. Yeah. Coming together to worship one God. Now we need to be steadfast. You've chosen and you did the most important thing in one's life. Islam is based on five pillars. You completed one of them. That's the testimony. The second one is to establish this connection with your Creator five times a day. Mm -hmm. How's that? That's good. How many times a day do you eat? Uh, right around five times. Around five, right? So this is something that's very important. We have to work on our soul. We have to work on our connection with our Creator. So five times a day, the most important thing I tell my brother Chris here, and I tell everyone, is to establish this prayer. Know that you will be tried, you will be tested. God Almighty tells us this life is a test. So you want to establish the prayer because the prayer is going to make you firm in this religion. It's going to make you firm in this way of life. The prayer is your connection with your creator of the heavens and the earth. Make sure that you're seeking knowledge constantly. Balance your time out well. Too much material, physical, the soul now becomes dead. And that our goal is paradise because this life is transitory. I think of death often and this will remind you that death is coming. So now stay on doing good, stay on seeking truth, doing these good deeds, and this is now how you will attain that ultimate success, success in this life and the hereafter. All right? Implementing Islam, which means submission, surrender to the creator of the heavens and the earth, staying away from major sins, and God willing, you'll be okay. It's not that difficult. All right? If you're sincere and you really want to please your creator, you're going to do what he says. And the system is there, it's all laid out, and all you got to do is just put in the work, right? Like anything in life. I agree. You got you to gotta put in the work. And especially for a paradise that is like nothing you can imagine. That's what we're striving for. So, brother, thank you once again for being on the Dean Show and letting everybody witness the, this, this wonderful moment in your life today. Is there anything you want to say to anybody who's, you know, out there and, you know, who's also possibly considering Islam? Keep an open mind and an open heart, and uh, don't try to be so judgmental, and just uh, question everything, uh, including the government and the media. <laughs> and anybody else who's having a hard time out there, we're here at the Dean Show to help you out. Send us your emails if you have any comments, suggestions. We have uh, a ton of different topics that we try to uh, cover, clearing all the misconceptions. And remember, if you can dig, 
this, that there is no one worthy of worship except the creator of the heavens and earth. That you worship him alone without no partners, everything else will fall in place. And that's the main message of Islam. And to do good deeds constantly. Thank you again, brother. Thank you. And we'll see you again, inshallah, on the Deen Show. Assalamu alaikum. Peace be unto you.